Welcome to my channel. This is a channel full of lots of different Canva tutorials. We're going to be looking at some AI soon, different design platforms that you can use. But today I want to talk to you about a new app in Canva called Typecraft. You may have seen it, you may have heard of it, you may have been using it. It's a fantastic app for manipulating text in Canva. So I'm going to head over to my screen and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So this is the kind of thing we're going to be creating today, this really funky warped text effect using a Canva app. I'm going to add a fresh new page and I'm going to show you how to find this. It's in the app section on the left hand side. And this is where all of your different apps will be that um, that are integrated with Canva. You can use any of these apps. If you scroll down, it's this one, purple background with the orangey red, uh, sorry, orangey yellow writing on it saying craft. When you click on this, it opens up this new box. Now in the top, this is where you type your word. So we're going to type in freedom, for example. You can use whatever word you want. This is where you change the font. Now, if we scroll down, you can see your word freedom here. Now, if I change the font, that box changes. You can choose any of the fonts that Canva have got in here for you. I'm going to go for a nice chunky font, this one here. You can change the style as well. So you've got three different style options and you can change the color. So let's go for a nice yellow. OK, so I've got my text. I have got my colour. Next, I can start to edit my text by dragging out these dots. They will help you manipulate your text. And then once you are happy with how it is, click add element to design and it's added it straight into your design you can then use this however you want within the design that you've added it to if you're unsure if you're thinking actually no it's not quite right you can go back over to here before you close this section and you can change it then just click update element and it changes it on your design for you and if you're completely want to start from scratch hit reset shape and it will reset it straight to how it was when you first typed the word in. Click update element and it will update it on your design. Now what you can do is you can add this into a design that you have created. So we can go over to the element section. I'm going to type in shapes but you can add anything into this and I'm just going to use this one here as an example to show you how to how to manipulate it to the edges of a shape. I'm going to change the color to yellow and I will just pop it here. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm rotating it 180 degrees. There we go. So now you can see I've got this white outline in the middle and that is the shape I want to fill my word freedom into. OK, so this word I used to create, um, use Typecraft to create it. So if I click on this, I can now go back to the edit button and it will bring up my Typecraft app. So I can now drag this out a little bit because I want it about that size. I have got my word freedom and I want to manipulate it so it fits this shape, the white area that I've added. So I go back over to my Typecraft app and I can start to pull these sections out because I've got this swirl here. I'll pull these in slightly and then I can hit update element and you can see it's see it starting to form the shape. And I can just have a play with this. Pull these down a little bit. I'll pull that one down. Might just pull that one up a little bit like that. Hit update element. But you can have a play with this as much or as little as you want. I'll move them across there. Let's see what that does. And it starts to fill that space. I love this. Right, so let's put you up there. 
I'll bring you there and hit update element. And I start to get my lovely shape um, that I am manipulating myself using the Typecraft app. I'm then going to go over to elements and I'm going to type in dust. I like this design, but I think it could do with something over the top just to give it a little bit of a rustic feel. Drag that over the top, change it to white, and then you've got something that you can use straight away within your social media if you wanted to, or you can add something extra to this. But you've created this really funky, freedom, manipulated text in Canva, literally within a couple of minutes, and you've got something really lovely that you can use. I hope you've enjoyed that today. I have done a series of different text effects videos over the summer holidays just recently. So this is the very last one in the series. So I really hope you've enjoyed this and I would love to see what you can do. We have a Facebook group. The link is in the comments. Please come over, say hello and drop any designs that you've created in Canva into that group because I would love to see what you've created. So that's it. That is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed that. Like I say, pop over to the Facebook group, come and say hello and drop any of your designs into the group.